Hello from Fanta Beach. I coming with a new product buy it from eBay. It's all about these two markers. Uh, I purchased them from this seller. As you can see, they are declared as uh, etching resistant markers, permanent markers. So I should be able to use them to drive board on this PCB board and I should be able to drive here what I need then to put in a ferrochloride solution here and final results we going to see I will show steps which I doing but uh, not wall because it will need I will need hour or so to prepare everything to do everything but you will see enough during all process. As first thing I need fine sandpaper like this piece to clean this copper layer a little. It was uh, staying on open air a long time so you can see it's dirty and everything like that. So I will clean this part here. Now it's clean, shiny, a little more on edge. This is how it looks now, shiny. Now I need to rebuild this board, so I will try to do that now. I need to cut this board. Time to start etching process. So well sealed. Ah. Voila! Let's see. So, etching is near finish, as I can see, and what's left to see is when I remove this marker from the board, uh, we're gonna see how uh, good copper layer is below that marker, or a solution could remove some part, in some points, remove a copper layer washing board in the in clean water to remove traces of uh, etching you know uh, this uh, solution is uh, very aggressive to all metal parts so it's not recommended to uh, take board after etching from the solution to the and washed under uh, water pipe or whatever there are some always some uh, some metal parts and uh, believe me it will damage them easily now question is how to remove oh. generally we can say uh, it's it's resistant to etching process but not fully you can see uh, let's try to show you. You can see on this board that uh, there there are some 
in some spots uh, copper layer it's removed even uh, marker was uh, it was uh, covered by this marker so I would say uh, it working but not so well like for example here copper layer is uh, damaged even below marker so I could easily say uh, look at this edges as well damaged damaged so if you're going to use it's cheap it's a uh, less than two dollars on ebay but if you're going to use it be careful do not cover big surfaces with it just teeny that is all about this you decide if you need this or not it can be used it's usable but uh, not so good thank you for watching consider subscribing to my channel for more videos and Bye bye, till next video.